Hello everyone, this is Vandana and you are watching 99.9 Engineering Station. So student, today I am going to discuss about the GATE 2021 second paper choice. So till now, if you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe it. Otherwise, you will not get any type of notification from my side. And one important thing is that you have to follow me on Telegram because in Telegram, I used to post many important questions, numerical, short notes, notes and many more things. So follow me there and subscribe my YouTube channel. So without further ado, let's get started with the video. So student, as we know that the GATE 2021 exam form is out in the month of September. So in this time, we have an advantage to apply the GATE exam by two different subjects. So basically, in this video, I'm going to discuss about the chemical engineering se uh, second, second paper options. Okay, so I'm going to give you a best option for chemical engineering that which subject is very important with the reason. Okay. So first discuss the which are the two basic subject which is added in the GATE 2021. So first subject which is added in the GATE 2021 is this engineering science which is represented by XE and the humanity and social science which is represented by XH. So basically for chemical uh, any engineering background the engineering science environmental science or engineering is very important subject. The second most the the second most important doubt from the student that the what is the fee structure if you opt the second paper okay so basically we have to if you are opting two papers so you have to pay uh, just double the amount of the single paper it means if you are from the general category and your fees is 1500 and you opting the two paper it means you have your you have to pay 3000 money to the uh, examination okay or in the ex form okay so it means you have to give them just double uh, double money as the uh, as according to your category okay so this uh, this doubt is already cleared I have cleared you okay now now come to the second paper choice for the chemical engineering so we have a three choice for choosing uh, the second paper exam that is chemistry which is represented by cy second one is pe petroleum engineering and third one is the engineering science okay these three subjects are very important and very interesting for chemical engineering so student now we discuss so student now we discuss the second paper option for chemical engineering so we have a three choice first one is the chemistry second one is the petroleum engineering and third one is the engineering science so if you choose the chemistry as your second paper so the is it is very important that you are very good in the chemistry because chemistry has a very vast syllabus and it is very difficult to cover both the subject like for cover the all the subject of chemical engineering and as well as the cover all the subject of chemistry so if you are very very uh, specified or very intelligent or very uh, pretty sure about the chemistry subject then you have to go for the chemistry subject otherwise you will not go for chemistry subject it is very difficult to clarify or qualify the gate exam by chemistry as well as chem from the chemical engineering so uh, from my side from my view it is not a good option for chemical engineering okay so second option is the petroleum engineering so petroleum engineering is pretty uh, much easier than the chemistry because it has uh, less labels and the few subject which is common to the chemical engineering the third option is x x e the third option is XE which is a very good option for the chemical engineering because it has a very common because it has a two or three common subject with the core chemical engineering okay. So before going to discuss the XE or engineering science subject in detail first we discuss why we go for the second option papers okay. So basically if your aim is to uh, go for the MTech program or for the PhD program for any IITs or you know Renault University then you definitely go for the second paper option because we have a very good option for the research papers like chemistry, petroleum engineering and the engineering science 
साइंस दीज आर दी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्ट्रीम फॉर रिसर्च पेपर्स ओके ना द सेकेंड ऑप्शन इज दैट इफ योर एम इज टू गो फॉर दी पी एस यू देन यू डेफिनेटली नॉट गो फॉर एनी सेकेंड पेपर यू सिंपली गिव द गेट बाई सिंपली बाई कोर एग्जाम नॉट नो नीड टू अप्लाई फॉर द सेकेंड ऑप्शन ओके now we talk about the uh, engineering science exam pattern and marks distribution okay so engineering science is the compulsory subject of the engineering mathematics the engineering mathematics is the com compulsory subject in the engineering uh, science okay and we the second thing is that we have to choose any two from these seven subjects like first one is fluid mechanism second is mate material science third one is the solid mechanism fourth is thermodynamics then polymer science science engineering food technology atmospheric and oceanic science so these are the uh, different subject you have to choose uh, any two out of them for the xc paper okay so next thing is that if you want for chemical engineering if i talk about the chemical engineering the xc and the, as a opt as a option for the if i talk about the chemical engineering the xc option is the best option or best second paper for the chemical engineering because the chemical engineering you already study about the fluid mechanics and thermodynamics so these two subject is almost common and the syllabus is almost common as the chemical engineering syllabus and as the uh, mechanical engineering syllabus so almost same the thing is that the something uh, one and two or topic is added in the syllabus otherwise almost everything is same so you have to just prepare prepare for the chemical engineering and little bit effort for the second paper and you definitely got the uh, any good rank okay so if we talk about the the uh, xc paper marks distribution and the number of questions so basically the total number of question in the xc is 65 from the 100 of 100 marks so time duration for the exam is 3 hours so uh, the exam contains three parts that is general aptitude which has five which has uh, five, a number of uh, questions of uh, one marks that is five and two marks for five question total number of uh, questions from the general aptitude is 10 and the marks is 15 okay the next thing is the next subject is engineering mathematics which is compulsory from here we uh, we uh, got the one marks question of seven question and the four question for two uh, two marks okay and so definitely the total marks is 15 marks okay the second thing is that the second paper the second paper which you opted as a option both question paper has a nine question of nine one marks and 13 question of two marks it means the total number of questions is 22 and the number of marks the marks from the one paper is 35 and from the both the subject we go we simply multiply and the total number of uh, question which is come from the uh, xc paper is 65 and the marks is 100 marks okay so this is the pattern which is uh, which is uh, for xc paper so you can go for it and this is very deadly combination for the chemical engineering and if you want to go for the uh, research or if you want to go for the mtech and phd otherwise you have to no need to go for the second option because the second option if uh, because second option in the second option the competition is very high the in the second option the competition is very high as you know that the many branch like mechanical engineer mechanical engineering has only one option as a second option second paper that is xc so the competition is very high not easy so why we go for the uh, second paper if you want uh, if you easily get uh, the marks good marks and good rank from the core branch then why you uh, want to opt for the second option so basically my point of view the if you want to go for the research or in any a uh, phd exam or uh, for uh, mtech exam then only apply for the second uh, second paper otherwise you definitely go for only single paper that is from core branch so according to me uh, for the chemical engineering you should not go for any second paper because jab aapko competition less mil raha already chemical engineering mein zyada bacche nahi baithte hain aur zyada competition nahi hai to kyun apna mind divert karna 
दो पेपर्स के लिए ठीक है क्यों एक्स्ट्रा पढ़ना अगर आप वही एफर्ट अपने कोर ब्रांच में डालेंगे तो आप उसमें डेफिनेटली अच्छा रैंक करेंगे और केमिकल इंजीनियरिंग के कोर ब्रांच से भी आपको अच्छे रिसर्च वर्क मिल जाते हैं और एम में और पी में एडमिशन मिल ही जाता है सारे जितने भी ऑलमोस्ट सारे आई हैं वहाँ पर केमिकल इंजीनियरिंग रहता है तो आपको किस लिए कंपटीशन में पार्टिसिपेट करने की क्या जरूरत है जब आप एक ही सब्जेक्ट से आपको हर चीज मिल रही है ठीक है तो मेरे ऑप्शन से अगर आप चाहें तो आप कोर केमिकल से अगर हैं तो सेकंड पेपर ऑप्शन मत सिलेक्ट करिए लेकिन अगर आपकी पेट्रोलियम इंजीनियरिंग है या कोई और ब्रांच है और इसका जो सेकेंड ऑप्शन केमिकल इंजीनियरिंग है अगर आपके ऑप्शन में केमिकल इंजीनियरिंग है तो आप केमिकल इंजीनियरिंग एज अ सेकेंड पेपर जरूर चूज करें ठीक है क्योंकि वो एक कोर ब्रांच है और वहाँ आपका जो जो एरिया होगा जो आपका फ्यूचर का एरिया होगा वो इंक्रीज हो जाएगा ठीक है तो ये सारे पॉइंट्स जो थे मैंने समराइज किए कि किस तरीके से आप अगर सेकंड पेपर असेंबल करना ही चाहते हैं अप्लाई करना ही चाहते हैं तो कौन सा ऑप्शन आपके लिए बेस्ट रहेगा लेकिन जो अगर बेस्ट है एक्सी ही बेस्ट है लेकिन उसमें कॉम्पिटिशन बहुत ज़्यादा रहेगा क्योंकि वहाँ से मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग के भी आएंगे मटेरियल इंजीनियरिंग के आएंगे पेट्रोलियम इंजीनियरिंग के आएंगे बहुत सिविल इंजीनियरिंग के आएंगे तो सारे ब्रांचेस में जो उसकी रैंक होगी वो बहुत हाई जाने वाली है तो इसलिए आप अगर आप चाहते हैं कि अगर आपकी थर्मोडाइनमिक्स और फ्लूड अच्छी है तो आप ये ऑप्शन यूज़ कर सकते हैं क्योंकि ये दोनों सब्जेक्ट ऐसे हैं जो आपको केमिकल इंजीनियरिंग कोर सब्जेक्ट के अलावा कुछ नहीं पढ़ना पड़ेगा अगर आप केमिस्ट्री और पीई लेते हैं तो उसमें जो है कॉमन सब्जेक्ट केमिस्ट्री में कॉमन सब्जेक्ट है ही नहीं और पीई में कॉमन सब्जेक्ट है लेकिन फिर भी आपको बहुत सारी चीज़ें एक्स्ट्रा पढ़नी पड़ेंगी तो उस वजह से मैं आपको कह रही हूँ कि अगर आप को ऑप्शन लेना चाहते हैं तो एक्सी लीजिए नहीं तो कोई जरूरत नहीं है आपको कोई भी ऑप्शन लेने के लिए आप सिंगल कोर केमिकल इंजीनियरिंग से आप एग्जाम दीजिए और वो आपके लिए बेस्ट रहेगा और एक्स्ट्रा फीस भी नहीं लगेगी या माइंड भी नहीं डिस्टर्ब होगा तो अगर आपको मेरा वीडियो पसंद आया है तो लाइक करिए शेयर करिए और चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करिए अपने फ्रेंड्स तक हर फ्रेंड्स तक आपको ये वीडियो पहुँचाना पड़ेगा क्योंकि ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है एग्जाम फॉर्म भरे जा रहे हैं बहुत से स्टूडेंट को बहुत कन्फ्यूज़न है अगर वो दूसरे सब्जेक्ट्स ले लेंगे तो उनके लिए डिफ़िकल्टी लेवल बढ़ जाएगा इसलिए मैं कह रही हूँ कि ये वीडियो शेयर करिए ताकि उनको उनके तक वीडियो ये पहुँचे नॉलेज डिस्ट्रीब्यूट हो और ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा बच्चे इस बात को समझ सकें तब तक के लिए थैंक यू एंड हैव अ नाइस डे